I am right now feeling very judgmental towards the people who are saying that the assassination was fake and that Trump, you know, faked it for, you know, to, to gain popularity. I mean, that would be a great stunt had it been faked because that is what happened. Like I'm, I think for sure this has turned people in his favor. It's turned me in his favor. I was like, okay, well, I, cause I had been planning, but procrastinating to register to vote in America for the first time. And I was planning to vote for, RFK Jr. I mean, things can always change. So I was like, I'll probably vote for RFK Jr. But of course, you see what happens. And now I'm going to register to vote and I think I'm going to vote for Trump. Yeah, I think a lot of people. So now everything that everyone's been saying about me has come true. <laughs> <laughs> You're a Trumper now. It was. I had a fascinating psychological process around it. And I think up until, up until maybe this assassination attempt, I had never really seen the Trump appeal. I saw so many people fall for, for him. And I knew he's an amazing showman and a con man. And a lot of people love a showman and a con man and a, and a performer. But I don't. And, the, and no, you probably do don't I. either. Yeah. No, but I was very impressed with his, performance it stirred something <laughs> in me you know because i've been so disheartened by understanding that the president our current president has rapidly <laughs> accelerating late stage stage dementia and that is very um distressing to me as an american <laughs> this is this is who has the nuclear codes and i find it very demoralizing so i've been in that place of just really being bummed out about the current president and then watching Trump get faced by a bullet by someone who's trying to kill him and rise up with that fist in the air and blood on his face and say, fight. I, I fell for it. I was like, yeah, that's the president oh I want USA USA. Like that's the energy I want in our country. Mm. I don't want a senile, um, decrepit, vibe of you know the the our figurehead in charge can't string a, a sentence together let alone like dodge a bullet and come up yelling fight i i fell for his showmanship i'm like this guy has amazing instincts he he knows how to work a crowd that was really impressive to me yeah and i mean i feel like anyone who wasn't impressed and inspired by that is missing some kind of chip inside i mean <laughs> i understand i understand why people hate trump that doesn't baffle me because i once hated trump and mm -hmm. what, since i stopped hating trump i was not you know i didn't like his personality what changed is that i thought oh he might be a good present president for America, given the options. And I realized that he'd been lied about a lot. Um, and I mm -hmm. determined that the other side was much worse and much more dangerous. Um, but it wasn't like I was enamored by the guy. But, it, you know, yeah, that response was very inspirational. I watched the video over yeah. many times and it made me feel very emotional. Um, and you know, the, I think the first time I heard or maybe saw a clip, I thought, you know, I thought what all these people were saying, which was, I was like, oh, maybe this was fake. Maybe mm -hmm. this is a setup to gain popularity for Trump and for the Republicans. But then I watched the video over again. And immediately when I watched it over again, I was like, no, this reaction is real. Mm -hmm. And that would be a, a crazy slash impossible thing to fake. Um, a man is too dead. Dangerous. Yeah. And people, a man is dead. Yeah. yeah. Two other people are still in, I believe, critical condition that, you know, yeah. greatly wounded. I don't think this was fake. I know. I have questions about Secret Service complicity in this or at, mm. at the very least extreme incompetence that, that this could happen. I mean, the guy was multiple people saw this man on the roof with a gun and, and nothing was done. And now the head of the secret service says she didn't put, 
she didn't put secret service agents on that roof because it was a sloped roof and it would be too dangerous for them, which is yeah. crazy. Yeah. How people saw him wandering, saw this kid wandering around looking at the roof and being weird even before he got up on the roof. And then once right. he was up on the roof, a whole bunch of people saw him up there and reported him to the cops. And they were like, there's a guy up on the roof with a rifle and they did nothing. And I also just saw that the kid's parents had reported him missing before this happened. So they reported him missing. Like Thomas why? Crook's parents called the police to report their son was missing a few hours before he attempted to assassinate Trump. Well, see, that just makes the whole thing weirder because he's a 20-year-old man like why would they report him missing like 20 year olds go out and do their own thing were they mm -hmm. concerned they said this was the father's ar that he that it was his gun that the, the kid was using maybe they were suspicious that he'd taken the gun and had left i, I wonder if there's more information to this story that i don't i just saw something i think on fox um it's, there probably isn't more information than that, but there's just so much weirdness. I just, I couldn't, I thought, you know, my first thought after my initial reaction and I watched the video a few times and I started reading about what happened was that this was intentional and planned by like the deep state slash the Democrats to take him out because they just couldn't fathom that level of incompetence on the part of the, the Secret Service. I think that's, that, that's very much a possibility. I believe Kennedy was killed by by the deep state. I, I think, you know, I, I, don't, I don't know for certain any more than anyone else does, but I, I think that it's very clear that there are many forces in power in the U.S. that hate Trump and want to take him out. Look, look at what they've done yeah. to this man. Look at the dirty tricks that they've played. Look at the stupid show trial where, where um, he received felony conviction for basically, um, you know, misaccounting something. Like he paid off a porn star. He paid hush money, and they hit him with felonies for the way he accounted for it. It's um, you know they have been going after him everywhere they way they can they they got fisa warrants um to spy on his team they they suppressed the hunter biden laptop story they yeah I, I have been calling him hitler trying to gin somebody up into killing him it's absolutely plausible that this was a planned execution yeah Oh, and also the Supreme Court just gave presidential immunity and everyone's been talking about how presidents have immunity if they assassinate their opponents. Like that just happened like a week and a half before this assassination attempt. 